Death by Chocolate, a murder mystery in Lincoln, Woodstock, New Hampshire. Here we are at the Loon Mountain Governor's Pavilion. I'm being joined by uh, many of the investigators of the murder mystery this weekend here in Lincoln, Woodstock. And in walking, one of the suspects, Armand Roca, uh, followed by what looks to be Billy Vonka and Anita de Chocolate, not only dressed, and of course our infamous Barney Makoff being escorted in by the Lincoln Woodstock police. All of these suspects are being interrogated and put on the stand here for the death of Coco Giardelli. Let's uh, listen in. <laughs> At the podium here is Alyssa Yolda, Assistant Executive Director of the Lincoln Woodstock Chamber of Commerce. Let's uh, hear what she has to say. Again, if you're just joining us, we are here live at the Loon Mountain Governor's Pavilion, and uh, you can see here how Billy Vonka clearly is showing his uh, 
nervousness and uh, as uh, the assistant director continues to explain what happened during this unfortunate uh, event this week. Billy and his explanation matched other evidence the police had found during the investigation. Anita and Billy have been cleared as suspects. Go! 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 What did I tell you all? Me? I should. The same cannot be said for the two main men in Coco's life. Her California friends, Armand Roca and Barney Mako. <coughs> what about this one? Is she free to go or is she in part of it? <laughs> According to many people, it was obvious that Barney Bakoff was courting Coco. He spent hours buying expensive and exotic treats for her and meeting with her almost nightly to discuss her investments over red wine and chocolate. It was rumored that Barney had even bought a ring and was going to ask Coco to marry him and move back to Coco's California mansion. Barney recently told Coco's real estate agent all Coco needed was a small ski chalet since so she would be moving back to California where she and Barney could keep a closer eye on the Sam and Coco Giardelli Foundation's investments, scholarships, and trusts. Of course, Armand Roca strongly disagreed with Barney Minkoff's take on the situation. Friends in California told the Lincoln Woods Police that Armand has been in love with Coco since before Sam Giardelli died. No. In fact, I knew it. In fact, Sudden Sandra Police said Armand was even a person of interest in Sam's death. Oh. Oh. My friend. <laughs> My friend Sam. My friend. Okay. <laughs> Until the coroner. <clears throat> Until the coroner ruled the death was caused by heart failure. Uh, At least that seems to be the case. Also, it was quite obvious to everyone at the Paper Mill Theater that Armand was in love with Coco and very jealous of Barney's interest in her. And we all know that jealousy is very often a motive for murder. Now, in the course of their investigation, police looked at more than the crime scene of evidence. They looked into Coco's finances and discovered that the Sam and Coco Giardelli Foundation was almost bankrupt. <laughs> Police were wondering if Coco had been stringing people along, or if she was unaware of the money problems. But all this police speculation came to an end today, when they received the final coroner's report on Coco's blood toxicology test. It seems Coco Giardelli died from ingesting puffer fish poison delivered in the form of gooey gooey fudge. Purchased by Barney Makoff and given to the unsuspecting Coco Wednesday during their evening cocktails. She may have walked out of Barney's suite on her own two feet, but Barney knew that within a few hours Coco would be dead. Barney killed Coco to cover up his embezzlement of her money. You oh, heard that! Official now, Barney Makeoff being arrested by the Lincoln Woodstock Police Department for the murder of Coco Giardelli. Apparently murdered by way of food poisoning, and now as he's led off to the cruiser, let's listen to the crowd. <laughs> 